Okay, we got the oil draining. And next I'm going to, those filters there, what I'm actually going to do is, I've got a screwdriver that I grind on to a point. I'm going to take a hammer and puncture that and let them drain out. Uh, number one, the reason why I do that is typically if the oil's real hot, and if you go to put a wrench on them, that oil's going to, if you don't drain them, that oil's going to run down. You know, it's hot, gets on your hand, makes a mess. Just punch one or two little holes in it, make sure you have something to catch it. Let them drain out, give it a little time, and then uh, then go ahead and take them off. This tube here is just a vent. It's a cr crankcase vent that just allows some pressure out. It's normal to have a little bit of oil come out of there. Uh, every engine has what they call blow-by, meaning that you get uh, oil up past the uh, rings and whatnot, especially the older they get. Okay, up there you can see where the two oil filters go. You always want to make sure that the gasket on the oil filter comes off with it. And if you look a little bit to the right, see that long, like a rusty tubular thing, and at the very end, uh, you can see it, see that white filter? That is your oil cooler. What that does is there's, in the middle, there is a round honeycomb that the water flows through, and I think the oil goes on the outside. The water goes through to help cool the oil, so that's what cools your oil. And when those go bad, you got to be careful. You got to, you'll see antifreeze in your oil, and you want to stop your engine as soon as possible. I mean, if you have to drive it home, depends on how far you're going. But antifreeze in oil is just terrible for bearings. So, but now we'll change that filter here after we get the oil done. Okay, this is a look at the old filters. I actually used Napa 1747. Now I'm switching over to Baldwin filters. This is uh, number B309, and for the fuel filter, uh, the oil, other oil filter is a B309 as well, it takes two. This is the fuel filter, BF7629, and this is the water filter. Now what kind of tripped me up about this is, when I actually uh, bought this, I had another one, and there looked like there was sawdust in it. So I took it back, and the guy said that that's a... Uh, that's normal. I guess inside here there's some kind of material that helps condition the water or do something. So he said it's normal. So now, some people, there's a controversy whether this is a good thing to do or not. You can actually put your oil filters on dry, but I prefer to fill them. A lot of mechanics prefer to fill them. Uh, the only thing that what you're, you're concerned about is, if you look at the round part, the, the big hole, that is where the oil is sucked up through. And it's actually filtered through these little holes. So if you were going to fill it, you would actually want to get a little funnel and fill it through these holes and not in the big one. Because, but typically it's too hard to fill them up, so you just fill it up through the big one. The only thing that most people are concerned about is, is... If you were to get contaminants in your oil, the first thing it's going to suck is the oil right from here, and those contaminants are in there. This is where the element is to filter it on the outside. But the odds of, I mean, you know, contaminants while you're pouring it are pretty slim. I mean, and if it's just little dust particles, I mean, it's, you know, these engines are kind of sensitive, that, especially the newer ones. Um, you know, but I, I, I've been doing this for years. Most mechanics prefer to pre-fill them. The reason why pre-filling them is th these filters here between the two is probably about a half a gallon of oil. And when you start your engine up, um, it takes a little time to fill these filters. Actually, I mean, it's faster than you think, but you don't have any oil pressure until these things fill up. So like, something like a camshaft that's actually spinning at really high RPMs. Um, not having oil is just not a good thing. Now, you know, on cars, I've depended upon and the uh, the way the filter is. I don't pre-fill them because some of them you can't because they're upside down or sideways. You know, you just can't. You'd make a mess. But on diesels, because there's so much oil in them filters, I find it best to pre-fill them. And I've actually put this to the test. Um, the guy I drive dump truck for, I changed my own oil, and not this truck, but the, when I was in the Mac. 
I pre-filled the oil filters, and as soon as I started it up, it didn't take no time for the oil pressure to go right up. And it was like that consistently. So just one time, I decided not to pre-fill them, and a Mac has three oil filters on it, and bigger, bigger than these. And boy, it took some time for that oil pressure to go up and scared the hell out of me. And I thought, I'm never going to do that again. Now, the odds that that did any damage are pretty slim. I mean, all your parts got oil slung on them. And um, it doesn't take that long, but it's just, uh, it's nice to see oil pressure go up right away. And that generally is, uh, what helps that is, is filling up your oil filters prior. So, Okay, I've got them pre-filled. As you can see, it's about a half of a gallon of oil, so that's quite a bit of oil that they take. And it's, they're not even 100% full, they're probably only about three quarters. Then what's good to do is take your finger, put a little fresh oil on the rubber seal. That makes for a nice seal, plus it uh, makes it easier to get off the next oil change. And they say to... Uh, Put these on by hand and just snug them up by hand tight however I put them on with a wrench or a uh, yeah my oil filter wrench just give them a little snug nothing crazy but um, I've seen oil filters work their way loose and uh, you know one pops off you lose all your oil and you burn your engine up uh, it's a bad ordeal but uh, like I said you put them on it's always good to kind of keep an, it's like anything else you know you should always pre-trip your vehicles that's when you catch things before they happen um, there's a like I said not only is it just a safety thing but it's one of those you know you can catch something before it becomes bigger is always a, a good thing so okay this is the type of oil that I'm using I only bought this because it was on sale and I already had a, um, a gallon it was in a washer bottle that I had I always keep some uh, extra oil on the bus and then I like to circulate it out not that it really makes a big deal so we've already put three of these in um, between what's in the engine and what's in the filter so we're looking at about 12 quarts so far this here's my oil filter wrench and it's just a matter of putting a ratchet on either side and it just uh, it just twists this to snug up against the filter to loosen it or tighten it Here's where the oil goes. I always just put a little chain on the funnel so it don't kind of flip around and then also keeps it up so the oil flows good. This here is the dipstick. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's a full line there's an ad line. Usually about 14 to 15 quarts on this engine. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, we're just going to top it off here. We'll check it again and then uh, go underneath make sure there's no leaks or nothing like that which it shouldn't be so this is an international DTA it's got an after cooler meaning that it uh, cools the uh, air to put fresh air into the intake which it cools it down instead of having hot air the cooler the air the more power the diesel engines make so this is for an oil change and uh, on a DT 360 in a school bus called Big Yell if you don't know, it's Big Yell for short for yellow. Okay, we got new oil filters on. They're on and snug. The drain plug is in, it's snug. We filled it up with about 14 quarts of oil. Now we're gonna listen to Big Yell say thank you, but you gotta listen real close. Real close, I told you. This does not have glow plugs, but I like to let the dash kind of do its things. Did you hear that? She said thank you. I heard it. If you heard it, leave it in the comments. Bonus points when I do a giveaway. And you want to look at that oil pressure. See, it shot up so fast because, as I said, you pre-fill them oil filters. Otherwise, that oil pressure ain't going to come up until them filters are full. Listen to Big Yell. Oh, I love you too. Remember, love is love. How do you know this bus doesn't love me? You can't prove it. We're just checking for oil leaks. Woo! I'm tending to think this thing ain't no good. We're going to have to change it. <laughs> 